In today's video, me and six other people are building a street in a mega build battle. As you can see behind me, there are seven different colored plots, each of which corresponds to the podiums on which we are standing. Each person gets a 100k budget and one hour to build their very own house. And hopefully by the end of the video, we're gonna be left with the most amazing street. And can this girl stop whacking me in the face? And for your chance to be in a build battle just like this, all you have to do is subscribe, leave your name in the comments, or follow me on Instagram. So let's go and meet everyone. First up, we have Mr. Jacob, who is doing a modern suburban house. Next up, Miss Ella is doing modern cozy. And is this girl all right? Honestly, I'm convinced this girl is on something. So and she is doing a dark traditional. I would have never have guessed from your gothic aesthetic. Mrs. Aurora is going to be doing modern croquette. croquette. Mr. Alex is doing suburban. And Ghostface over here is doing dark modern. And I think I'm going to be doing suburban. So now that I've gathered all of their personal information, let the games begin. Okie dokie, guys. Can we first just talk about how beautiful is my street skills? <laughs> I mean, yes, I did just copy and paste a thousand trees, but I thought it kind of looked very autumnal and cozy. But my plot is this white one at the back here and not gonna lie guys i actually sneakily gave myself a bit of a bigger plot but let's get started i have a perfect plan in my head for the house so basically each side of the house is gonna be a room and then in the middle here we're gonna have the corridor does that line up no we're off to a great start as you can see guys as i was trying to say this is gonna be the corridor as you walk in and as for the staircase i also want to switch oh my god is that hogwarts and lex i relate how do they do their layout so quick as I think for my stairs I want to be able to get up from it from two ways but honestly I don't think that's going to be happening today so like what is this jigsaw and I actually like the idea of seeing the banister like that and then this here is going to be the open kitchen a little kitchen table and a lounge and then a dining room and another lounge room in here and then as we head upstairs I'm literally adding no depth or anything to this house this literally looks like a bra like look at it compared to everyone else's everyone's doing so good mine looks like shit. As we move to my upstairs layout, is it just me? But I cannot do the layout without placing the floor in first. My brain does not understand what's going on. Oh, I just backspace. Sorry, I always forget in build battles. No backspacing. This is basically going to be our little corridor. It's kind of thin. You're going to have to like eat a salad if you want to fit up here. But what I'm thinking is we have like a kid's room here. This can be the master bedroom with a little bathroom. Family bathroom here and then a teenager's room here. So a three bedroom, two bathroom. That's pretty good. Hey. That's pretty good. And normally I have like an inspiration picture in my head in these build battles. Today, I don't. <laughs> Today, I literally just went so rogue. So we'll just see how this turns out. I'm personalized. Thinking that we should be having some pointy gable roofs here. Maybe about this tall. Oh, I think that looks good. And jeez, Louise, whoever's building in this house. It must be a goldfish because how many windows do you want? Anyway, let's stop judging other people's and finish off my own. And just for a little extra nugget on the top, I'm going to add an extra room. There we go. That is the outline of my house. We've only got 51 minutes left. How has this taken me nine minutes? As for my windows, I'm thinking I'm going to do my good old building hack. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know about these windows. I used them on a few houses before. But basically, the idea is that you get a factory window like this. And then you outline it with some beams. And as you can see, it just basically gives you a well detailed window and do not forget to do it on the inside as well now does it look absolutely ridiculous if i just put three of these on each wall I have made a little bit of a rookie error here. I also want a thin version of that window. Honestly, I just act like time limits don't exist in these build battles. And oh my gosh, that girl at the end of the street. She looks like a spirit or something behind there. A spirit in the background. Fiona, is that a ghost behind you? What the? But there we go. We have now got the thin window in as well. I was just thinking we could pop this either side. Oh God. Oh my goodness. There's so many windows on this house. <laughs> and oh, I got a little message in chat. Disconnected. I'm so sorry, ghost face. Now, since we had to go and perms ghost face let's actually take a little peruse around firstly this one is such a unique design i absolutely love the brown windows darling it's so original this what in the architect so as for the front of my house i'm actually gonna make it green can you believe this guys but don't worry the whole thing isn't gonna be green we're gonna be pairing it with a white plank and i'm gonna steal somebody's roof oh my gosh that one looks perfect <laughs> 
That feels really bad. And we're just not going to talk about what this looks like from the sides, okay? We're just not. For the front door, part of me really wants to put that. I think I'm going to do it, guys. <laughs> that just looks so good with it. It just looks like your classical house if we put that. And I know time is running away from us, but I would just like to put some structurals here. Okay, those are literally the most money even I've ever done that. And we're going to have to move on to the chimneys. I think I might just put two either side. I might put them this way as well so they look a little bit thinner. I think you're fat. Yeah. That's it's it. just my opinion. And you know what? That actually looks really powerful at the end of the street there. What I'm going to do is use some of these like, oh my goodness, this is like a drumstick. Oh my gosh, you can make it really thin as well. Okay. Now, is it just me? That looks really bad. <laughs> Let's pop our, our pathway. Oh my gosh, that, sound, that really sounds like I have a lisp, doesn't it? And ever since I accidentally used the grime color on grass, I've, I've loved it ever since. I might also steal this girl's tree, but sometimes you've got to play dirty to win. And rather than just scattering wild plants, like we live in some sort of jungle, I'm actually going to pop them up in a tray. Yes, a wooden platter. A planter. Oh, that actually looks really nice, default colors. They see me rolling. And shall we just have some red roses out here? Oh God, that's too red. Can't even see it. And for that little extra flourish, we'll add some trash. Actually, we probably shouldn't be making them pink. <laughs> My bin in real life is not pink. I'm pretty sure they're green and brown. I don't know if that's the same in America, but in England, we have a green and brown bins. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. <gasps> and there we go. We can now actually go inside finally. As for these doors, we should probably just color them white. Also, we need to decide our wall trim. Part of me is wanting panels, but it kind of feels like we're living in a barn. We could also do very light plaid. Now, do you know what? I'm doing this. I'm doing it. Maybe we could have a sand blue stripe in here. And as always, I changed my mind a little bit. I actually ended up making this like a brown pine and I went for like different shades of blue in both the rooms. Also, what I absolutely love about the build battles is you actually don't have to care about the back of the house because no one's looking. Actually, no one's looking. We can even add some French doors and no one's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. And oh, I see somebody using a slushy machine. Wait, that means people have started decorating. I've barely started. Okay, right, let's get started with the kitchen. I did also just remember I kind of want a little laundry room in here, but I want it to be very open. So I'm actually gonna use a traditional opening because what better? And I've been so obsessed with the rustic counter lately. I've actually been hooked on it. In fact, let's actually take a look at some of the other counters. I guess the only other option is the arch counter, but not being rude, the arch counter is basically the rustic counter, but less detailed. This is personal. But let's get started. So if I'm living in this rich street, I've definitely got to have a $4,000 oven. I've also definitely got to have the Arctic fridge. And I feel like painting my appliances like dark cashmere. Sometimes you've just got to be different in these build battles. To make the kitchen a little bit bigger, I'm actually going to weasel one of these cabinets in over here. And I've also just put a little counter next to it. Honestly, I'm just doing whatever the hell I want. And y'all have seen me place appliances a thousand times. So I quickly just put in all of the essentials. And yes, a chocolate three layer fountain tin is definitely a necessary appliance. Okay, maybe it's not 100% necessary, but who can survive without chocolate? But there we go. That's basically the kitchen done. I might add a lemon bowl and some drying racks in here. And you might be thinking, well, what are you going to be putting in the middle here? A kitchen table. Yes, this is something a little bit different. I always put island benches in here. But why? Honestly, I might just try the transitional. But yes, that's now officially the kitchen done. We have 24 minutes. Um, How has this taken me so long? So we ain't got time for no chit chat messing around in this room here. An entertainment center is being put in. No, 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 no. I'm going to need that backpack handling to change immediately. Also, I feel like I should update you guys on what I'm watching at the moment. Basically, you know I always talk about the show 911 that I love. The new season has come to England. Well, the first episode has, and it was amazing. So if any of you are watching 911 right now, let me know what you're thinking of the new season. But also, let me know what you guys are watching at the moment, and if you've got any good recommendations for me. I'll read for as many as possible. Anyway, I'm gonna do like a layered... This isn't layered, is it? That is not a layered or a custom coffee table. That just looks like a piece of shit. I guess what I could do is add another square underneath this. Reese's, you don't do this kind of stuff when you're on a time crunch. And then Loki just gonna steal these lemons. Maybe we can even have like a speaker. Why not have a little acoustic guitar just in the corner here? Maybe the dad plays guitar. But honestly, that is best I can do for this little room here. And thank you for the trick or treat. And if you're wondering, we have 17 minutes left and I haven't even started upstairs. So I think that's where we're gonna head next. 
And all that time I just spent on this entryway. We only have 14 minutes left, right? We're going upstairs. We literally have to go upstairs. And I'm literally going to speedily color all of these walls. I'm sorry if you're expecting a nice hallway. Basically, we're just going to continue that fancy theme. And remember, I said you can literally add windows wherever you want on the upstairs. So I've just popped one in there. And I'm thinking we should just put a sectional sofa. A sophisticated sectional. And honestly, we're then just going to have to put like a little armchair. We'll then go on to the master bedroom. So we're going to have a little bit of blue in here. But it's then going to fade out into this light stone grey. We're going a little bit back to normality now. And I haven't actually thought through what I want this bedroom to look like yet. So that's going to be very, very interesting. Should we put the bed in this crevice here? And for some reason, I feel a little bit drawn to the log one. Five minutes later. Sorry, guys. My mum just called me. I had to quickly answer. But I was basically just doing this bed. I remember, guys, I said we can add windows anywhere. I think I'm even just going to add another little window here. And we're going to make this a little reading area with some books. Well, obviously. Yeah. And since we don't get a walk-in closet, like, sorry, guys, our house is too small for that. We're just going to have to do an open closet. And whoever lives here must have the most boring clothes selection ever. It's just all grey and white. They're taking beige to the next level. We have seven more minutes. So next up, I'm going to do the two bathrooms. So we'll begin by popping a shower and bath set into the ensuite. We'll pop the toilet just next to it. As for the sinks, I want to use a sink I don't normally use, but Bloxburg doesn't really have any good ones other than the modern bowl sink and the floating vanity so guess i'm not actually going to be using a different one today i do want something to make my build stand out though so how i'm going to do that is i'm going to place an indent in the wall and cheers louise bryce so bright yeah. I want to use this luxury corner bathtub and not me copying the exact design I did in my last video. It's so easy. And then, yeah, we are gonna have to hurry up now. We have five minutes. Sugar plum, we still have this room downstairs. Right, this was basically gonna be like a big open family room with another TV and a little office. So we're just gonna have to put the same sofas in. A hairpin to S. But there we go. We've at least now completed the downstairs. Oh no, we haven't. We've still got this random room here and the laundry room, holy smokes. This house is too big for a build battle Reese's. We now are just going to have to copy and paste these beds. We have one minute. If I don't copy and paste, we ain't getting these rooms done. And we literally just have seconds remaining now. So I'm trying my hardest to make this look presentable. No! Maybe we could even try and put a desk in the, this big one. We've got a bit of room for it there. Oh no, time is up. Time is up. But with that, the building is completed. Let's go look around our brand new street. Okie dokie, here I stand at the very cusp of chicken lay that's the most original name i could come up with in two seconds guys an entire street has cost us only 500 grand like huh uh. but let's go and start the tour so we're gonna go from right to left and it's your guys's job to vote a winner so all you have to do is comment down below the username of the person you thought won so hello miss chatty wavy ghost face from the outside it's very very modern it sort of looks like she built it with like no game passes even though i have all of them but as we step inside this is dark modern. We've got a very gothic vibe going on here. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking this looks basic, she did get disconnected about 5,000 times. In to the left. Is this the bedroom? <laughs> is, this, is this actually the bedroom? Okay. I don't personally think this one is going to win, but it's a good effort, okay? And she's creepy, so I don't want to say anything bad about her house. Next up, this was Alex's houses. Now it's just Lex's houses. So she stole not only his house, but the A out of his name. <laughs> <laughs> From the outside, this is what I call a suburban cozy house. Uh, I love this gardening. I don't know if it was her or Alex, but it's very, very beautiful. But as we walk inside, oh, no, I'm liking this. Again, it's given a little bit 2021 vibe, but you know, I kind of like that. Oh my gosh, I'm shutting up. Look at this custom island. They basically done what I've done using console tables, but they've used basic shapes to make it better and put me to shame. As we go up, oh wait, there's another room. Wait, 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 a little bathroom down here. As we go upstairs, okay, autumnal bedroom one. Oh, they put Tom in here. No, oh, this is so cute. I love this. Nice bathroom. And then, oh, oh, what's this? Oh, I guess this was going to be like a big bedroom, but she ain't get no time to finish that. Okay, well done, Lex. Next up is Mr. Jacob. I placed a roof near the stairs, so now you can't get to them upstairs, so please use free cam. So this is Jacob's house, and I will take what he said on board. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at these custom pillows on his chaise lounge. No, this is already my favorite design-wise. 
This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. As we venture into the kitchen, I love this design. This feels so realistic, guys. And then, oh my gosh, I was not expecting this to be all big in here. I love when rooms surprise you with how big. Now, what are you talking about? The step, oh. I'm gonna try parkour my way up there. Come on, come on, Reese. you gotta spring in your step. You gotta spring in your step. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this closet. Wow. The only thing that's upsetting me is the decals aren't changed. But other than that, absolutely beautiful. So next up, we have my house. So from the exterior, this is my humble abode. As you can see, I've got some lovely roses here. So if I suddenly developed a lover, I could pick one of them and give it to them. But anyway, did it flop? Absolutely. But am I kind of proud of it? Yes. This is our informal lounge room. We have the kitchen. So this is where one of your parents is going to be cooking. Or you can make trouble for them and put sweet corn in their laundry machine. Through here is like another lounge room of a little office. Um, I just thought I'd add that here. And then as we pop upstairs, I don't even want to look at these rooms. They're so basic. Uh, but the master bedroom, to be fair, the master bedroom actually kind of ate. Next up, we have Miss Ella. Now, you, it kind of looks like her house ends here. No, we got a whole extra bit over here. So as we walk through her beautiful greenery. Oh my good lord. This is the most beautiful lounge room I've ever seen. And I agree, mate. It is like heaven in here. We've got a gym. This is the first one I've seen with a gym. That's amazing. Like, I think this one and Jacob's definitely tie for me for favorites. Anyway, as we head up step... Oh my goodness. There's four rooms. This is mad, mate. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that is a little disappointing, but can I really complain? Her downstairs ate up. Oh gosh, this is the master bedroom though. No. All right, all right. She weren't messing up on this one. And this is the cute bathroom and then a little kid's bedroom. Okay, if my math is correct, we have two more houses. The second to last is Miss Aurora. Now, uh, looking at this, she says, sorry, I was lagging bad. Oh my gosh, I think she might be like a new player. That is absolutely okay, Aurora. So as we walk in, I can't really see much, but that's okay. Look, we get a beautiful view over the street at least. A Lord, you're blimey. This is a big laundry room, girl. Okay, we not really got much going on up here, but it's very cute. Okay? And finally, we have the person who kept slapping me up, and they have gone for the dark, traditional, modern. Let's appreciate this greenery. Wow. So, um, is that a skylight, or did you just forget a roof? It's a skylight. I'm sorry, I've doubted you. This is beautiful kitchen. I like how everyone's in here at this point. You guys honestly blow me away each and every build battle with your talents. I'm loving this downstairs. I like how we put the bathroom downstairs as well. That's very cool. Why are you all watching me in the bath? And then as we head up this gorgeous staircase, oh my gosh, this is like a lounge room. Live, laugh, li liver, livers. And then there's a finally a bed. I will be sleeping in this. In my humble opinion, Jacob, I don't know, and Ella definitely won this build battle. But make sure to comment down below who you thought won. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.